All right, hello brothers, it's Todd All Things Archery and Shooting, and today I'm sure to make a quick and easy rabbit stew. You can use this for camp hunting um, at home on a rainy day. It makes a great little quick dinner. And this is what you're going to need for it, okay? It's one of my favorite dishes. It's easy to make, very little prep time, and it's really, really good, trust me, okay? What you're going to need to start with, you're going to need a good rabbit. This is a, I just killed this rabbit last week. It's been aging in the refrigerator for about a week. Very important that you age your rabbit, okay? All right. You're also going to need three slices of applewood smoked bacon cut up. Also be sure it's applewood smoked bacon. You're going to need a quarter cup of flour. You're going to need a whole yellow onion cut up. You're going to need a teaspoon of oregano and a bay leaf. You're also going to need some pepper and some salt. One teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. You're going to need a celery stalk chopped up. You're also going to need some um, fire roasted diced tomatoes with garlic. You need some baby carrots. You also need some white potatoes. Okay, be sure you get one that says no salt added because you're adding salt already. So you want to get too salty. Be sure it says no salt added. And you can get some button mushrooms, okay? And of course, you need a, a cup of wine as well, too, okay? Now, this is pretty easy. Um, I use the canned ingredients because it's the right amount, I mean, that you need for each of the ingredients. But also, if you're out in the woods, it's easy to pack, pack these cans and then pack fresh vegetables. And honestly, you can't, really can't tell the difference in the taste, okay? So, the so first thing you want to do is you want to take all these ingredients, you want to mix them into your crock pot, all right? And you want to cook it for six hours, okay? On a low, low heat, okay? So let's go and get that started right now. First thing I do is going to add the, the wine. Use any kind of wine you want. This is standard red store bought wine. Okay. You want one cup of wine. Okay. So let it breathe for a few minutes. Don't take long, but just let the wine like breathe for a couple minutes. It smells really good. And then okay, add your white wine. Okay. Now you want to mix the rest of your ingredients in there. All right. What I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper my um, my rabbit first. Just take your your pepper, run it across there. Get it on there really good. Alright, add some salt, toss it in the, in the boogie. Same thing here, run some pepper on there, put some salt on it, into the pot. More pepper, some salt on it, into the pot. Pepper, add the salt into the pot. Pepper, add some salt, basically rinse and repeat what you're doing. Into the pot, okay? Alright, get this out of the way now. Okay, I'm going to start adding everything else in there. You want to add your bacon. It doesn't really matter which way you put these in. I put the bacon in first because it sits on top of the rabbits, help season a little better. Add some oregano. Throw your bay leaf in there. Put your chopped onions in there. Okay. Got your celery now. That's got to go in the pot. Okay. You got your button mushrooms now. No sense in draining these, just add right to the broth, they'll add right to the flavoring, they'll add right to it, so just pour it in there. Okay, can over for this. Okay, you got your white potatoes, now the white potatoes you will drain, there's a lot of water in those, I don't like to keep those in there, that's too much water, so I'll, I'll drain the water out of the white potatoes. Okay. 
Just take your white potato. Way to drain, just hold your cap on and pour it. Show you like this. Just hold your cap on and you cut it, just pour it in here. That way it drains your potatoes. You don't really want all that water in every potato. It's a lot of water. Okay? There's your white potatoes. Throw those in there. Okay? Same thing with your carrots. You want to drain your carrots. There's a lot of water in this can for the carrots. You don't want all that water. Be sure to drain all that water out. Same way, just hold the top of your cap, like I'm doing right here, and just drain it all out. Okay, good. There's your baby carrots. Throw those in. Okay. All right, last thing is going to be your diced tomatoes. I'm going to put this whole thing in there, okay? This whole thing of diced tomatoes goes in there. Okay. This one just dump the whole can in as is. Okay. The rest of your salt and pepper just left up. Just stick it in there. Just like that. Empty it in there. Okay. Alright. A little bit of salt is for the vegetables, not a lot. Okay. Alright. Get your wood spoon and mix it all up. Now with it all mixed up, you can see it looks just like this. Just take your spoon, just mix it all up really good. Just mix it all up. And we sure all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Okay. Alright. Our wine up. Okay. And you see there's a little bit of water, not a lot. See that? And everything is going to be set. And you take, put your top of your crock pot on there. Okay. Set it on low. You want to cook it for six hours. Okay. Let it cook for six hours. And what's left, all left is the um, flour. We'll make some gravy out of this flour later. Okay. All right. I'll see you in six hours. Okay. This is Todd, all things archery and shooting. This is our rabbit stew we made six hours later. Let's take a look at it. Oh, look at that. Is that like delicious or what? Look at that. Okay. Let's give it a try. Taste it. Okay. Smells really good. And you can put this stuff over rice like what I'm doing or over bread or dumplings if you want to do it, but it's really good over rice. Let's give it a shot. I mean the bones, just, I mean the meat's just completely falling off the bone. So there will be bones in here. We put the bones and all in there. So be sure you watch out for the bones. There you go. All right, it smells good. You smell that wine and the fresh vegetables. It's over rice. I think how good that looks. Looks really, really good. Okay, yeah, look at that. Mix it up really good. There's some fire roasted tomatoes in there. I mean, look at the bone. The meat's just falling off. Look at the bone. It just falls off the bone. Look at there. Just falling right off the bone. Look at that. Fresh mushrooms. That. Yeah. Mm. Does that look good or what? Mmm. Really good. All right. Well, that is rabbit stew, quick and easy in a crock pot. It's really, really good. 
You can taste the vegetables, the rabbit, the red wine in it. A little bit of oregano you can taste in there. It's really good. Nice big white potatoes. Look at that. Soft they are. Okay. I mean the meat literally fall. Look at the meat there. The meat's literally falling off the bone. Look at that. That's how you tell rabbits cook good. See look at that meat? No gamey taste, no nothing to it. See that? Really good. Mm. So good. Mm. If it had rat meat, it's kind of like a, a sweet kind of meat. It tastes between like a pork and a chicken, kind of sweet. It's really, really good though. Look at it. Mm, smells really good. All right, that's going to be my dinner, y'all. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick recipe. If you like these recipes, look, drop me some comments down at the bottom, and I'll be sure to put some more up for you. i got a bunch of wild game recipes I can, I can put up for you. I've got a really great recipe for some venison and also for some hogs. So, um, so Give me a, um, you want to see something like that, leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to do something like that. So remember, I'll put all the, all the ingredients in the uh, description box for you, so you can check it out and make it yourself. It's quick and easy. All you need is a crock pot, some few basic ingredients, and six hours of time, and you've got a really delicious kind of stew meal. Like I said, you can put it over rice, over bread, over biscuits, over dumplings, whatever you want, or just eat it straight out of the pot, however you want to do it. It's really good, though. I think you'll enjoy it. All right. This has been Todd with All Things Archer. Be sure, also, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Also, be sure to click to that uh, that bell next to that subscribe button. That way I can notify you when I get more videos uploaded. All right. And please leave me a comment. I love answering my comments and reading my comments. I try to answer everyone if I can. And if you got any questions, you want to see more of these recipes, just let me know. I'll, I'll be sure to do some more. Okay. Well, this has been Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting. And until next time, ciao.